Hey Flosstube, it's Nicole back here at One Stitch at a Time. I just wanted to come back on and do an update. I didn't get to post for the past, um, I think two or three weeks. I was sick for three days and have just been working. But um, I did have some fabric come in that I had ordered in January. And I have a couple, they're not really new starts. They're just... I had a huge piece of fabric because I wanted to work on a gigantic haid, but I have kind of come to figure out that I don't think I'm going to finish a gigantic supersized haid, so I have cut the fabric down and uh, restarted some story keeps. That way I could get more finishes done, hopefully, and not stress out so much about not getting the big supersized haid finished and as you can kind of see right here I have been um, diamond painting some this is um, if you're interested it's distracted by diamonds I do have two kits that I got from them I think over a year ago and it was called um, deep so if you're interested in that just let me know I just didn't really want to do a bunch of videos of diamond painting on here too just in case nobody was interested but I did want to say thank you to the new subscribers and the likes and the few comments that I have gotten, um, it meant a lot that somebody had watched it and reached out to my question about the fabric to one of my patterns, um, Campfire. So thank you very much for that, and I will try to get better at posting videos. So uh, let's get started. So the main thing I have been trying to get done was, um, I'm sure everybody already knows this one, so, uh-oh. That means I've lost a needle. But I ha oh, I did start making um, my own needle minders. So I hope to get better at making, making those and maybe start selling them if anybody's interested. So I have been trying to get the border of this. And it's a lot harder than you would think, even though it's just straight. But this is Carriage House Samplings um, Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. So everybody probably already knows this. So I can't find, I think I have my original, like the color pattern pattern put up. So this is my, my working copy. So I'm doing this on 32 count vintage country mocha two over two. And I had started it at the bottom going up, but I lost count. So now I'm having to frog all of that out and I restarted the top so this is a very big piece of fabric and I ordered a huge piece and I cut it in half so I'm doing it this one on this this fabric and then spring at Hawkburn Hollow so I did get that part done this house feels gigantic even though it's really not but it feels like it's taking forever but I got that and then I worked a little bit on trying to get these blocks so what I want to do is, sorry, my plan is I would like to get all of the borders done because I have Autumn at Hawk Run, Hot, Hot, Aut, Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow, Spring at Hawk Run Hollow, and Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. What I would like to do is go ahead and get all of the blocks done and at least get one block done a month for each don't know if that's gonna happen but we will see so there's that one um sorry more diamond paintings and so um let me go ahead and show you my fabric that i've got in that one okay so i did get these are from be stitch me this is vintage 32 count linen it's one yard it's like a very light tan color very pretty i got neptune in 30 i think it's 32 yeah 32 count linen it's a very pretty blue, and this is for 
tiny modernist Christmas village is what I was going to do this on. So there's that one. And then this is, I don't know, if, did I show this one? I feel like I have shown this one. Oh, well, if I haven't shown it again, because it's very pretty. But it's Bee Stitch Me, Garden Party, green and orange. Sorry if you've already, already seen that, but it was in here. Okay, here's the rest of them. This is Mocha. This is just another tan brown color. Very pretty. Um, 32 count linen, vanilla latte, 32 count linen, just another lot. Um, that one's not showing up very good. It looks yellow, but it's not. It's just a lot tannish color. Um, Saturn in 32 count linen. It's like a orangey brownish tan color. Very pretty. And I'm not sure if I showed this one, but this is, I don't remember the name of the pattern, but this is Outback Jack in 16 count. I got one yard. So there's that. And I just used this thing from Michael's that's got the different colored drawers to put on my fabric in. So there's that. Sorry, I'm just trying to put them back in the, the thing. Okay, let me see. Oh, that one's heavy. Ooh. And I did get, oh, sorry for standing up right in front of the camera. Give me just a second. Sorry guys. Okay. I forgot those was up there. Sorry about that. So I do think I'm probably gonna use one of these Be Stitch Me fabrics for it's a Silver Creek Samplers Holy Moses. Um, I'm pretty sure that I, ooh, that glare. So I think, um, I think mocha. What do y'all think? Think that would look good? Mocha or, uh, or the um, vanilla latte. That probably looks more of the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there so I don't forget. But if you think the other one's better, just let me know. So I'm just gonna get the threads for that. I'm gonna put that in a bag. that it does have fabric. Sorry for the zipping. Oh, hold please. So I can put my... And if I'm not loud enough, some my, um, my sister and my mom said that they couldn't really hear me in my videos, please just let me know and I will try and figure out something. What is this? Oh yeah, that's the year in the woods. I didn't work on that. I did get my piece of fabric for Prairie Schooler, the ABCs. And I do have all those patterns. So I will be doing this on, I love the smell of her um, fabric. It's from XG Design. It's 32 count Belfast linen marbled hazelnut. So I will be doing it it's going to be a long piece this way. So, it's a... Yeah. 
It's a very big piece. So, it's not gonna be little. Sorry, let me try to. So you can kind of see all the modeling in it. Oh. Very, very big piece of linen. Still going. There's the end. So, yeah. This is probably one of my favorite fabrics. Absolutely love her. Sorry for the squeaky chair. I just kind of cleaned out my little craft section right here today, so made me just want to sit down and diamond paint for a little bit. I haven't done it in a very long time. So there's that. Um, oh, that that was a uh, one of my first diamond paintings, Van Gogh Starry Night, and these two posters are. Van Gogh, my husband got them for me when he took me to the museum in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. It was amazing. I loved it. And uh, he got us the VIP thing or passes for it. It was the, uh, the immerse experience where you got to wear the glasses thing and do like the live thing. So we got these absolutely loved it so that was very special to me that my husband done that so thanks babe okay I don't think he really watches my videos because he hears about cross stitch all the time so okay mostly what I've worked on has been my hates so sorry my nose is itchy okay so, I did start this one. This is... Where's my... I wonder if my tablet's charged. I can show you better pictures. Let me see real quick. Okay. I'll pull up the pictures instead. Um, this is... Is that what that is? have too many patterns okay yeah so this is Randall Spangler heaven and earth designs a story keep called dragon's history and that's what it'll look like oh the glare I'm so sorry there you go that's what it'll look like and I got to 10% doing this on 25 count one over one so there's that Huh. Where did my... Oh, here it is. I think. Well, I had... Um... Started one... 
No, I didn't start this one. No, I showed that last time. I didn't work on that. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Hold on just a second. Why can't I find that? Hmm. I put it up. Well, anyway, I did um, start this on a piece of 32 count um, Easy Guide, and it's another one from Heaven Earth Designs called Missing Something, artwork by Mandy Manzano. Whoa. And I had done the diamond painting from Diamond Art Club whenever they had it, but I gave it away. So. And I'm up here in this little corner. I'm so sorry for the lot, for the ring lot. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but there's that. And I got two, let's see. Here you can kind of see, I haven't got very much done just that little bit but it's really cool because all that's highlighted right there is all 310 so it's really fun to fill it out do the 310 and then go back and fill it in so but for the past couple days i've really just been working on the autumn at hawk run hollow just you get the urge to, to um to stitch on certain things and i haven't started this yet this is for someone in my family that passed away it's um i'm not quite sure who that is and it says feathers are reminders that angels are always near so this really looks like and i was thinking about doing it on this um sparkly printed fabric what do y'all think I don't think I showed that before. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. So. Like I said, I really haven't worked on a lot. But, um. I think that's pretty much it kind of just trying to get main stuff that I do really want to work on for the rest of the year and I have one bag so I don't have so much stuff going because I've got like five bags packed full sorry I'm still here um that's pretty much it like I said nothing Nothing major, just wanted to come back on since I didn't post last week. And again, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. And um, if anybody would like to stitch along on anything that I'm working on, please let me know. That would be great. Um, let me make sure I showed all my stuff. I think I did. I think that was it. I didn't. I didn't buy anything really, but yeah, um, I will try to come back on, um, maybe Sunday or Monday on my next day off and, um, do an update, hopefully a little bit more progress done on Autumn at Hawker and Hollow, or at least the, the boxes will be done. Ooh, that's loud. Oh, I did get one more piece of fabric from Be Stitch Me, and um, I don't really like it. I, it's just, there's no modeling in it. It's just a solid color of yellow. It didn't have a picture up there, and I just grabbed it. But what I think I might do is go over it with uh, tan writ dye and see if that kind of gives it a fall color. So, this is this is 18 count so 
it's a lot yellower than it's showing in there. Yeah, that's about how yellow it is. But I mean, it's pretty. It's just not, not, not me. But I still love her fabric. But anyways, that's pretty much it. And um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. And um, you can come and follow me on Instagram or on TikTok. And I believe that's it. So have a good day. Bye.